I've been always following people and blueprints of people, and now I feel like I didn't really find a lane that I liked, and I was at a standstill. And then I found that you have to make your own path. You just got to keep going and fighting for everything, and one day you'll get to where you want. Naomi Osaka, the four-time champion of Grand Slam singles, and the winner of two Australian Open and two US Open titles, continues to show the world dreams can come true even at a young age. Naomi has inspired girls and, through her life story, has given a message to be more than what others expect you to be, to keep trying even if the world tries to bring you down, and become comfortable in your own skin by being the person you're confident being. The 23 years old tennis star was born to a Haitian father and a Japanese mother. Raised in Japan till the age of three, she moved to Long Island, New York with her family, and that's when the tennis journey of little Naomi started. Naomi had the support of her family, and she wanted to make them happy because it made her happy, so she dedicated her days to practicing while being homeschooled at night. While kids her age were out partying and going out to college, Naomi was blocking the distractions, working hard to achieve what she had always dreamed of, becoming the best. She got the eyes of the Japanese Federation when she bypassed the junior competition to enter the professional line of players in 2013. Over the next few years, she gave all her time, energy, and dedication to tennis as she emerged as one of the most promising young players in the sport and represented multiracial people in Japan, becoming the ambassador of change. Since she was three, she idolized Selena Williams and admired her resilience and power. Who knew Destiny would give her a chance to play Serena Williams at the 2018 US Open final? Naomi not only faced but crushed her childhood idol, Serena Williams, in straight sets 6-2, 6-4. Through her deadly killer instinct, she won the 24th Grand Slam title with great panache. While Naomi reached new heights of success and glory, she faced her fair share of downs. She was the defending champion and the four-time Grand Slam winner when she lost at the Australian Open in 2022 to unseated American Amanda Anisimova. Everyone was shocked to see her lose, but like a warrior, she walked out of the court and said, I know there are days, I'm going to have bad days and days, I'm going to have great days, it's always random, and I never know. But no matter what happens for me, I know I want to leave the court knowing that I've fought for every point. There was a lot of pressure on the young athlete, with the media throwing questions at her and people seeing her all the time, and at one point, it was a lot to take in. In 2021, Naomi withdrew from the French Open to prioritize her mental health. Naomi was struggling with anxiety and depression, but she came forward to the world and showed it's okay not to be okay. She shared her struggles with the people so the conversation around mental health could be reframed. She destigmatized mental health even though she faced backlash from the media for backing out of the French Open because she was not feeling like going out on the field and playing. Osaka collaborated with the workplace wellness platform Modern Health to reduce the stigma associated with mental illness and will lead Modern Health's Community Impact Program as the chief community health advocate. The young athlete not only raised awareness about mental health issues, but was recently named one of Sports Illustrated's five sportspersons of the year for her continued activism, showing support for the Black Lives Matter movement and denouncing anti-Asian hate crimes. She used the platform of the US Open to promote Black Lives Matter and to honor victims of violence and injustice. Being born and raised as half Japanese and half Haitian, the young athlete saw the brutality people of color faced and she strongly condemned it and came forward in support of multiracial people. Osaka wore masks bearing the names of black victims of racial profiling and police injustice in each of her seven matches. Breonna Taylor, Elijah McClain, Ahmaud Arbery, Trayvon Martin, George Floyd, Philando Castile, and Tamir Rice. But it wasn't just Osaka's masks that made an impression. It was her response to a post-tournament question from ESPN reporter Tom Rinaldi 
about her decision to use her clothing to raise awareness about racial violence. Rinaldi asked the tennis pro what message she was trying to send by wearing the masks during their interview, and her response was direct and powerful. Well, what was the message that you got? I feel like the point is to make people start talking. Naomi saw how hard her mother worked so she could pay for the flights and accommodation for her tournaments, and how his father became her coach, even though he had no experience with tennis. Her parents' dedication, sacrifice, and courage made her step forward and become a fearless young lady ready to take on the world. Osaka has traveled the world, competed in the tournament after tournament, and endured insidious post-match press conferences in her 23 years. She has advocated for what she believes in, bringing attention to Black Lives Matter, increasing awareness for mental health issues, and establishing a strong presence outside of the tennis world. The life of the fearless sports goddess is a message to keep going, to keep growing, and to believe in what you want to become because, eventually, you'll get where you are meant to be. Don't let the world hold you back because you are destined for greatness, but only if you try again and again.